Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com and in this video, I want to talk about where do you go and find clients. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I get this a lot. Kazi, where do I go and find good clients? Well, it's just like if I had to give you relationship advice, I can tell you to just go on like match.com or something and find somebody. And just like that for freelancing, I can tell you go on upwork.com and find somebody. So there you go. But it's really not about going out and randomly finding these people, right? If you had to find somebody, the love of your life, a lot of you guys would probably do that in real life without looking up online. And it doesn't just happen magically. It happens when you have that mind shift that changes. For example, what's a really good way to attract a ton of negative people? Be negative. Do you agree? What is a really good way to attract a lot of high performing, excellent and motivated, driven people? Be motivated, be driven, be excellent, right? So if you want to attract premium clients, good clients, what's the first step that you might need to take? You might yourself need to become a good client, a premium client. Imagine the time that somebody was working under you, whether it was like they were doing some painting in your house for you, they were fixing your tire for you. We've all had people who have worked for us. How are you to them? Were you nickel and diming them every step of the way? Were you giving them the benefit of the doubt in different situations? Were you being nice to them? Were you like even having a conversation with them and treating them like they were human beings? Not just like, okay, you're just painting this. Okay, go ahead, you do this. I'm gonna go in another room. Like, were you actually, did you have a conversation with them? Did you talk with them, right? First of all, define what that premium client will do for you. So in your head, think about if I had a great client, they wouldn't even question about paying me my price, right? One of, one of the things. Another one of the things that could be important is I would have a great time with them. It wouldn't feel like I always need to prove something to them. We would have a good time. Number three, I would be challenged. I might be being pushed to my limits with what we're doing, the projects that we're working on. Now reverse engineer that first focus on becoming a good client for people. It might mean you hiring other people to, I don't know, tutor you. You can hire somebody to tutor you for like $7 an hour in let's say art, whatever it is that you're currently doing, right? But start becoming a more premium client with them, right? If your budget doesn't fit somebody at a higher paying level. And once you can start to do that, you're developing something very special which is you yourself are turning into that ideal client that you want to be. And now what's going to happen? You're going to start attracting those types of clients. And when I say attract, people think that you're going to be like this magnet. You're going to be sitting in this one place and all of these amazing people are just going to be falling in your lap. That doesn't happen. But what will happen is that you'll know what to see in those people before you invest your time with them, right? It won't be somebody just really needs your help and you help them and they never had the money to pay you. So you're the one getting the short end, end of the stick here, for example. But if you turn into that great client for other people, now when you go looking for other clients, you'll identify those key factors because you yourself are that person. What are you good at in life? I am good at chess. Sometimes I can see a person in their face and tell how good they would be at chess or just talk with them a little bit and be able to determine how good they would be at chess or play chess just for a little bit. If I play chess with them for five seconds or just hear a few words, even that I can detect what their ability is. The same thing for computer programming. So when I'm hiring people or working with people, it's very easy for me to figure out whether this person is gonna be the right fit for the company or not. In your case, the same scenario. If you want those things, you gotta be that thing, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to find those things okay so there's no one hub these clients are just sitting swimming and you just go there and you just grab them by the hands you should ask yourself how do I 
become a premium client, and then you can start attracting them. So whether it's for Python software development, you want to be a consultant, you want to get these clients, or whether it is for something completely different, you want to work as a web developer in JavaScript, same rules apply for you. So this is something that's applicable throughout different industries even, different programming languages. Okay, it's, it's kind of like a universal rule, understand people. That's it guys, that's it for this video. Thank you as always so much for watching. I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video.